What I'm about to show you, this is basically like using sugar to attract ads. If you apply what I'm gonna show you to your images on your real estate social media posts, whether that be on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, whether you're using YouTube thumbnails, whatever you're doing, social media ads, this is gonna get exactly more attention, more clicks from local buyers, sellers, and humans in general. You're gonna attract more people, and it's just that simple. This is complete basics, but nobody knows this, and nobody uses this, but the basics of getting the human eye to pay attention to something, and then making human brain go, hey, I'm interested in finding out more about this. If you follow this very simple pattern that every single top social media account you're following use this right now and apply it to your posts you can get more people looking at your posts look more clicks and as a result you're gonna get significantly more leads and real estate clients the reason why i know this is because i spent millions of dollars on social media ads which means i've literally tried everything and i've also worked with hundreds of real estate agents personally one-on-one -on -one, helping them get more listing clients using social media specifically. So I've seen behind the curtains of what's working and what's not working, and this is based on exactly that. What gets listing clients and what doesn't get listing clients. What I'm gonna show you in this video is exactly what works right now today, but also many, many decades in the future. These are evergreen principles of getting people's attention and moving them again closer to your world. Oh, by the way, if you wanna have a social media action plan that's 100% customized to you, there's a link below to get one for free. But first, let me show you exactly how this works. So let's just dive right in because frankly, this is probably gonna be one of the most important marketing lessons you'll take away this year because it's simple and applies to virtually anything you're doing. Doing. Whether you're doing Facebook posts as a realtor, whether you're doing an Instagram ad, whether you're doing your LinkedIn posts, whether you're doing a YouTube thumbnail, whatever you're doing on social media, this is gonna help you to make that a lot better and also get a lot more attention, which is the currency on these social media platforms. When you try to get a person's attention, you need to understand how the human eye works what it's gonna think and how it's going to behave in the future. So look, when you're trying to get images for your social media, you need to understand a few basic, simple concepts. When a person is on social media, so they are screaming to their Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever platform they're using, you need to understand that the eye is only gonna focus on one thing at a time. And so the focus of an image must be only on one thing. And the way your images should work is that the first thing that should happen when a person sees your image is that there needs to be something centralized that grabs the attention of that person and there needs to be something that's going to create a question so you need a one primary thing in the actual image that's going to ask the question in that person mind person's mind and makes that person wonder what is going on here like what is this about that is the most important thing that needs to happen when a person sees your image and when you're making your social media post as a real estate agent, and this applies, again, to virtually everyone and everything that you do. In fact, if you look at it and you see what most real estate agents are doing with their images on social media, this is completely the opposite of what we're talking about here. They're trying to fit the entire message of the post that they're trying to communicate into one image all at the one time. So they'll have a picture of themselves and then they'll have some information, they'll have a logo, they'll have the phone number, they'll have the whole post and all of that is in one image. So that's really asking the person to like, look at the whole post and like trying to focus on everything. So because of that reason, obviously a lot of the times when people are trying to do automated or generic content kind of fails because it doesn't pull the eye really into anything. It makes it very easy to just scroll past and very easy to ignore the whole post. Not only this, but if you are using images like that, or let's say you're using beautifully designed graphic images you create with something like Canva, or you take images from your brokerage, frankly, the content is then going to look exactly like advertising. And if you know anything about advertising and about how the human mind works, people don't like to pay attention to advertising. But what does that mean for a person when they see an ad, right? When you see an ad yourself, what do you think, right? Automatically, you tune out all the advertising because there's so, so much of it and you completely ignore it, which is very, very bad if you're obviously trying to attract that person's attention. 
Okay, let's take a look at some great social media examples and let's take a look at some bad social media examples as well as far as the images actually go. The first one we have right here is a very, very typical image. This is what I actually see all the time when we are on a strategy call and we look at the real estate agents market and okay, what other realtors are doing, right? This is something I see all the time. This is an image where we have a person here, the real estate agent, obviously, then we have a big headline here, looking for a real estate professional you can trust. And also here we have call XYZ today to help with buying, selling, or finding a home. Here we have the name again, we have the cell number, we have the office number, we have the email. So what we just discussed, right? One central attention point in the image in this image, there is no one central point, right? There's like five different central points. So you should not be doing this, and this is actually very, very typical, let's say in a billboard advertising, right? A lot of the billboard ads, or let's say you're doing postcards, a lot of them actually look like this. And again, you should not be doing this on social media. Very, very easy to just kind of skip through this and not really notice. This looks like basically an ad like 10,000 miles away. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have a very, very typical post from let's say using a brokerage to create your content. Um, and here we can see five questions to ask to figure out how big home you need. Here we have text here and more text, more text, more text, and more text again, right? Now we have a little bit of a good thing. We could say maybe the number five here kind of grabs the attention a little bit. But again, as we just talked, there's literally like seven different things you need to pay attention to. And they're trying to fit all the information into this one post. So what really happens with this, these types of posts, again, people just skim through this, even though the content may be actually good, it's just very, very hard to digest. The other thing to this with actually is that about 80 to 90% of people actually use these social media apps such as Facebook on their phones. So you can just imagine when you're skimming through a post like this on your phone, and unless you have like a massive phone, right, you're not gonna be even seeing this text on your phone. So you should not be doing content like this either. Let's take a look at another example. This is a very, very typical, uh, again, let's say kind of automated slash generic type of a post. We can actually see that here we have a website link, which is something you should not be doing unless you have a call to action or something like that. You wanna have people get a resource or something like this. This just takes people to a website. But also here we can see again, it does not provide that single point of attention. And that's why this image just not taking us anywhere. Just kind of see like a blank billboard ad. So even though, again, the headline here could be good, look who made the smart move. Uh, it again, doesn't get to people's attention and there's just so many different things to focus on. There's the person, there's the headline, whatever this thing right here is, I don't even know. And then here we have different hashtags, just so much going on. Again, it's very, very difficult to even pay attention to this post, even while we're looking at it. So let's take a look at the example of how the central point of attention works. So here we have an example here of this image and you can see that all these different colors are going on here, right? You can see the green, you can see the blue, you can see the yellow, all these different things. So your focus doesn't really go anywhere. There's no one central point. Here we can see another picture and here we have all these black dots. We have this white background, but we have this one red color will have this one red ball. And as you can see from your attention, it goes to this one central point. And that's where we're going here for this, I mean, this social media post. You wanna have one central thing where the attention goes and that's gonna get, cause people to stop and actually look at your post. So now that we covered some bad examples, let's take a look at some great examples of social media post images. So this is one of our examples from one of our clients and we can see that this image grabs our attention, but why is that the case? Well, there's an area in our brains called the fusiform area or FFA in short. And what this really does is that this focuses our attention on human faces and it's located near amygdala. So actually it's closer to the area in our brains which processes the emotions we're experiencing and obviously faces, they grab the attention of the people because we're kind of accustomed to that. If you imagine 5,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, as we grew in these tribes, what was the most important thing going on, right? Other people, we're very, very social creatures. So because of the FFA, the way this works is that even other objects or beings 
beings that are not humans that have areas. You can see this image right here of this car, right? You can see that it has these two little lights and the seat little kind of like mouth here going on. You can see that even this image, even though this is actually not a person, this still grabs our attention. It may cause us to feel us something different. So you can see obviously in this image, we have an actual person. And again, we have the human face in the center. And so this really grabs our attention. We don't need to always have like a central dot or an object or something like this. You can have the human face to cause the attention grabbing as well. So just like we talked previously, when you look at this picture, first of all, it grabs your attention, right? There's that central point that causes you to go there. But in addition to this, it creates that question in your mind. Like, what is this? Like, what's going on in this image? Why is this guy pointing at this? little thing like what is that thing right and so it causes again you to stop scrolling and go and check out that post and now we have that space to talk with people and engage with them and provide the value we would want. So let's take a look at another great example. This is one of my own images. And like I said, around millions of dollars in advertising. And you can see right here that this image is kind of odd, right? There's really weird thing going on. There's these people in this painting and then there's me standing and I have this weird colorful clothes. And as we just talked previously, right? The first goal of a social media post is to grab the attention. Now what causes this image to grab attention is these different contrasts. So we can see there's all these different colors going on. There's the shirt, there's this beige color in the painting, there's kind of bluish color on the wall. And also in addition, there's just white things going on at the face. It's like, what's going on in this image? Let me stop and scroll through this post, let me read this post, right? And it asks that question as well, like what's going on, right? Why is there white paint on this person, right? What's going on right here? And I think that's exactly why this image perform so well in our advertisements is again because there is something that grabs the attention but in addition to this it asks that question like what's going on why is this person having a pain like what are these three people what's this painting about there's all these different questions going on as you just see this image and when you see the image you're easily going to go into actual text posts and read through that post and again looking at the opposite of this right if i were to make a bad social media post or a bad advertisement right i would have all this information right here on this image i would have my phone number i would have my link i would have my website on my youtube channel i would like scroll put in like five tips or something like this right it would have just so many different things so as I just talked about earlier this is simple it's easy it's basic so it's not super difficult but you have to stop the maybe learn behaviors or some of the things you may be doing already on social media to cause yourself this effect. Okay, so take these lessons to heart. It's a very, very simple lesson I have here for you today. That's literally it. Take your next social media post and do this. You're gonna do so many better results with anything you do online. Whether you be doing videos, posts, texts, YouTube, whatever you are doing, it's gonna get people's attention a lot better. Now, if you want more training like this, or you'd actually like to have, again, that customized game plan specifically for you your market and you like to see the holistic strategy of what actually works for our clients right now today in this current market i actually have a link below and look if you are a realtor you need to be great on social media you need to be using social media you need to be having a real strategy right now today if you want to be successful in your real estate business and you need to be able to get actual results from it not just doing a lot of things and not get really anything out of it. If you're not getting results from your social media right now, if you're not closing on deals every month, you're losing out on deals from your sphere of influence, from outside of your sphere of influence every day and night, all left and right. So really all you have to do to get some help with this and not fall behind behind your competitors, all you have to do is just go in and book a free strategy session. It's 100% free and I'll show you the exact strategies, exact framework you can use in your exact market right now today it's all going to be customized to you and again it's 100 free so why not do it so these are the strategies that i've helped our clients real estate clients in real markets in the united states right now to close real real estate listings all you need to do to take advantage of that just click the link below again go to the description of this video there's a link click on that and again just fill your information and you can be able to get yourself a free strategy call like that so that's all i'll see you the next time and i'll see you in the next video